and some rain showers push in this afternoon. Kind of a cloudy gray day across the region. But at least it's uh, not a soaking rain kind of day. Well, at least for most of it. 50 degrees right now at Northeast State. Look at the trees too. Starting to bloom a little bit in spots across our region. Spring is not that far away. And in fact, the, the uh, equinox, spring equinox, just a few days away. We're already in meteorological spring, if you want to look at it that way. Temperatures tonight cooling down into the 40s and 30s. We'll look for a low around 37 towards Clinton with 39 in Norton and generally mid to upper 40s. You go into northeast Tennessee where we'll see some more persistent rain showers. Tomorrow for Sunday, highs reaching up into the 50s. Kind of cool relative to the 60s we've seen, but seasonable for this time of the year. Average is around 58 degrees. Partly sunny skies to at times mostly cloudy skies tomorrow. Chance for some showers early on in the day. Temperatures a little cooler across southwest Virginia, but warmer as you head into northeast Tennessee. Here's what we got going on now. See this mass of rain here? Well, that's got to come east and that's going to be what we see for the overnight hours. Rain on and off through the overnight. Locally heavy in a couple spots as we go into the latter portion of those overnight hours. Here's future track 730. Notice the rain is still north and west of us. Then it starts to move closer to us. We even see a little band develop and try to push into parts of southwest Virginia. Can't rule out an isolated rumble of thunder. But most areas will probably just see rain showers tonight. As we go into the later overnight and into tomorrow morning, more scattered light rain around. If you are heading out tomorrow morning, expect some light rain across the region. Then drier weather by noon and into the afternoon. A mountain shower possible, especially in the higher terrain of North Carolina and eastern parts of Smith County there. Let's talk about the next weather maker after this. We have a couple weather systems heading our way. It's almost like we're in a spring summer like pattern as we go into Monday, Tuesday and into Thursday with a couple chances for showers and even isolated thunderstorms, especially during the latter portions of the days. Here we are on Monday. A little batch of rain pushes in mainly later on in the day and into early Tuesday. Then we see another chance for an isolated shower or storm Tuesday afternoon. Wednesday looks drier and nicer across the region. But then we go into the latter portion of Thursday and another system approaches with a chance for a couple showers, maybe some thunderstorms. There will be a few ingredients in place Thursday and maybe even Friday, depending on how the exact track of the system goes to give us a chance for some stronger storms. As we go into Thursday, I think that'll be west of us into Friday. Notice how it starts to encompass parts of T Virginia, Tennessee, North Carolina, West Virginia. We'll keep an eye on that. That would be Friday right now is what we're thinking for a chance for maybe a couple stronger thunderstorms into the region. 60% chance of those. Look at the drop too in temperatures as we go into Saturday. We're going to go from the 70s back into the 40s. It's going to be likely warmer in the morning as we go into Saturday morning than it will be in the afternoon on Saturday, depending on the exact timing of that front. But uh, quite the shock to the system there as we go into Saturday with temperatures falling oh, about 20 to 25 degrees as we go into the afternoon hours. We're right back with more of News 5 at 6.